All right. Today, let's take a look at this Ant-Man Legends uh, Wasp figure. Now, I bought this figure originally because, well, A, I don't have a Wasp figure, and B, um, I was planning on making a custom out of it, so this is kind of just to see if that'll work for my purposes. But um, I like Wasp. Most of what I know about her comes from Earth's Mightiest Heroes or uh, the first two Ultimates books and the Ultimates 3 and Ultimatum, but those don't count because they suck. Other figures in this series, I actually saw all of them except for uh, Grim Reaper. But um, it was a Toys R Us. They had Ant-Man, which I think actually looks pretty good in person. I wasn't impressed with it at first. Um, they had a bunch of wasps. They had one bulldozer, but I don't have any of the rest of the Wrecking Crew, so like I'll probably just not get it. They had um, one Tiger Shark, I think, and uh, Giant Man. And I'll probably wind up getting Giant Man too, but I don't know. For now, I just got Wasp. So let's have a look. All right, so before we look at Wasp, this is the um, Build-A-Figure part that she comes with for the Ultron, uh, the movie version. And, uh, you know, it articulates pretty well. This is, um, it looks like there's some silver paint on the front, but if you look at the back, it's just a flat gray. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I don't know. If that's the case, it's kind of, I don't know, maybe a little lazy paint job. But it doesn't really affect me. I'm not going to build Ultron. I have the Marvel Select version, and I like the classic look a lot more than the movie version. So, you know, there's that. So here's Wasp herself. This is the first um, of the new female body mold figures that I've bought. Uh, for whatever reason, I just never bought any of the other ones. I'm not sure who she shares the mold with. Um, Storm, maybe, if I'm remembering correctly, because I didn't buy that Storm figure either. So maybe you just shouldn't listen to me when I'm telling you what this figure is, because I have no idea. But the point is, um, I really like it. It's a lot more poseable than some of the um, other female body molds that we've gotten from Hasbro in the past, like the Maria Hill or Black Widow from the um, like two-pack, all that kind of stuff. And uh, it looks a lot more natural, too. It's not, like, weirdly cut up articulation in places that you don't need it. She's got the open hands, too, so you can either pose her in flying poses or just, like, have her so she's using her power, her uh, wasp stings, whatever you call them. Um, the head sculpt is really nice, I think. I've heard people say that the uh, eyes are a little bit too far apart, but I think that's just people complaining, to be honest with you. There's, you know, people in real life have eyes that are a little farther apart than together, so... I don't know. I like it. The paint on the, I guess the abdomen and the chest and everything is pretty well done on the abdomen, but on the chest it's a little bit sloppy. Hasbro has its paint issues from time to time, and I've seen a bunch of figures that kind of look like that, but this overall is pretty good. Not any paint issues on the head, really. As a matter of fact, they actually did a pretty nice job on the head, so. The articulation is nice. You get your double-jointed knees, although they don't bend much farther than that, but, you know, at least the double joint is there. Um, the ankle rocker, pivot, everything that Hasbro's been giving us for the past couple of years now, I guess. It's always really good. Uh, the hips, they flex out about that far and forward that far. Um, not too far back. That's about as far back as you're going to get. Um, no ab crunch, but there's a diaphragm joint that goes that far back, that far forward. Um, arms, pretty good range of motion. You get them all around and all that kind of stuff. Pretty far in, actually, once you bend the elbow. And it's only a single joint, too, so it's actually not that bad. I've seen double-jointed elbows that only go about 90 degrees, so this is actually a pretty good use of the, of the mechanic there. And, like I said, the open hands. She's also got these two holes on her back. That's for the wings that she comes with, which we'll get to right now. So this is the bottom wing, I think, or it's the top wing. I don't know. I think this is the top wing, actually. Never mind, because it's got the peg that clips into the back, and then... The bottom half of the wing has a peg that goes sideways like that. So you can stick that right in here, just like this. Boom. And then you just clip it into her back. Just like that. And I'll do the same with the other one. And so here she is with the wings, fully on, fully posable. Um, they can bend back behind her like that, or they can flex out to the sides. And because of the bottom halves being separate pieces, they can like flex up into the wings too and you can have them like kind of behind her back for when she's just kind of standing around. Um, overall I actually like the design of these wings. I think it's really well done and uh, it's a little bit, it's like a yellowy greenish plastic but it's like translucent on the bottom too so you can see like the uh, sculpt and the design inside like the, I don't know if that's veins or what it's supposed to be inside the wings but overall I dig it. So if you want my recommendation, if you don't have Wasp, pick this one up because uh, it's on the market right now. You'll get the middle of Ultron if you're interested in building Ultron. And uh, I don't remember much about the Toy Biz Wasp, but I know I passed on it because I didn't like it. 
this one I think is a big improvement, so go for it. Also, thinking about that custom I was going to make, um, this will work perfectly, so I'll probably get another Wasp and just uh, take the one with Wars Paint or whatever and use it for a custom figure. But we'll get to that down the road. All right, I'm Captain McKay. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you soon.